All right. Hi, everybody. I am Kristen, the Development Director for the Epilepsy Foundation here in Wisconsin, and I want to welcome everybody to our um, 2020 um, virtual walk down epilepsy in Madison and in Janesville tonight. Um, Joe, we have a lot going on tonight, and we're really excited about it. So um, just to get things started, um, we are talking about um, our national walk down epilepsy that um, goes on uh, from our national organization and that we're doing it across the state here in Wisconsin this year. Um, we're really excited about the national movement and to bring it here um, for you guys. And um, so one of the things that we taught this year is that we can't do our walks in person. So that was, you know, really hard for us to um, to come to, um, but the decision to make sure that everybody stays safe um, go with everything going on with COVID. Um, and so we decided to bring you the um, the walks uh, virtually this year. So we're excited to do that. Um, and then um, anybody that is interacting with us tonight watching on uh, Zoom or Facebook, make sure that you let us know and comment hi or who's ever there um, so we can kind of keep track of who's all watching um, and enter you guys into some drawings. Um, so to start things off tonight, we're gonna talk um, here from one of our, na our national sponsor, which is Greenwich Biosciences. Um, and Sherry Bethauser is joining us from Madison um, with Greenwich, and she's gonna talk a little bit about them. So, Sherry. Hello from Madison, and hello to our Madison folks joining tonight. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry Bethauser, and I'm honored to be here today with you on behalf of Greenwich Biosciences and our entire team. As a presenting sponsor, Greenwich Biosciences is proud to partner with the Epilepsy Valley foundation and its members for this event across the country. We are united with you on what you're trying to accomplish here today. And that is number one, to raise awareness for epilepsy. And number two, to have a very positive effect on the care, the research and the lives of those that are impacted by seizures. There are many families that wake up every day to the reality of seizures. And there are folks here um, who've been fighting against seizures their entire life. Additionally, there are individuals that can't be with us today, but as an entire community, we never give up the hope that one day we will overcome the challenge of living with this disorder. This is our united goal and it's what drives us. You may know us Greenwich best as the company that's researching and developing FDA approved cannabinoid medications to address serious medical conditions, but also know that our focus is you. Patients and families are at the center of everything that Greenwich Biosciences does and we strive to make a positive and meaningful difference in your lives. Today and every day, we are proud to walk with you to raise awareness, to take action, and to continue the fight, our fight, to end epilepsy. We hope that you have a great walk today, and we look forward to seeing your pictures, your photos, and your stories that you're willing to share with us for this event. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Sherry, so much. And just like Sherry had said, we want to see all of your pictures from your walk, um, videos, all of that kind of stuff. If you can share them with us on our Facebook page, um, Instagram, um, Eva, or even email, all of that kind of stuff works. Um, so we are super excited to get uh, to hear from Sherry. And then next, we're actually going to hear from one of our clients um, in our mission moment for tonight, our uh, first one. So we're going to welcome team captain of Sarah Simpolt. Um, Sarah, and you're actually our um, number one. Um, team raise uh, money <laughs> so far. So we're super excited to have you. Um, so Thank if you. you would like to share some of your epilepsy story with us, we would love to hear it. Sure. Um, so my name is Sarah Schubert and I was diagnosed with epilepsy in March of 1998. I had a series of grand mal seizures and experienced status epileptics and I was put into a medical induced coma. And after that, I was in the hospital for roughly about a month and seizures started to taper off and get more under control. They continued and I went for about four years without having one from 2012, from 2009 to 2012. Um, and when they came back again, I had simple partials. So that's why we named it Sarah Simples. And um, it, Really, when it came back, it hit me with a lot of fear and anxiety and just totally overtook me, just complete fear and anxiety of not knowing what would happen next. And that's when I really decided to change from fear and denial and anxiety to advocacy and, and awareness. So that's, that's become my thing. And 
um, we're really excited every year. I'm just, I'm thankful that the walk is still happening, even if it's virtual. It's become a really big event for uh, my family and I, so we're, we're excited. Awesome, we're excited to have you, and we see some awards behind you. Um, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> which shows us that you have been um, a participant of all of these walks and fundraisers for us. Um, so it's great to have you. Um, Sarah, you've put kind of, you've done some other things as far as helping out and volunteering with the foundation. Um, can you kind of talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. I joined in the um, art therapy group that was in Madison for, I think I did that for three years. And then I um, have attended several of the update dinners. That's been a really big help to both my wife and I. Um, we, I had epilepsy when we met, but it was something that was still really new to her. And I think that something that the foundation has done is to, education is empowerment. And that's helped my wife to be less afraid and also know what to do in the event that I need help and helping her to educate others also. So it's it's just all around education. So we do a lot of the update dinners really whenever they're in Madison and I've joined the adult retreat. I was able to volunteer for that last year and we had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, it was great to have, it was great to have fun to gather, you know, everybody from around the state and get together and you know just have a great weekend, um, you know, just to, and it's, to touch base and say hi. I think sometimes it's yes. the only, you only get to see each other maybe once a year because you live on opposite ends of the state. So um, it's pretty fun to actually get to do that. And you were mentioning the update dinners and I wanted to let everybody know that we're actually doing a lot of those up, we're doing those updates um, virtually now. Um, so given everything that's going on with COVID, um, we're actually doing virtual meetups, which is happening. Um, we're hoping to do them once every week. Um, and so look for those emails and those announcements um, on our Facebook page and on our website. Um, so kind of awesome that those are happening. And so um, Sarah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I know you guys, yeah. really, um, you talk a lot about your community and to you know, people that you come in contact with. So it's great. So thank you so very much for- Thank you. Us. Um, and so I wanted to, uh, some of you may not know that the Epilepsy Foundation Heart of Wisconsin and the Epilepsy Foundation of Western Wisconsin are kind of joining forces now. So we are doing um, and doing business as the Epilepsy Foundation of Wisconsin. Um, so I wanted to take a few minutes um, just to introduce everybody to the staff of the Epilepsy Foundation of Wisconsin. Um, and so to start that off, we are going to talk to Mike, our executive director. Thank you, Kristen. Hello, everybody out there. I don't know why you, I feel like I need to wave on these Zoom meetings, but I do. There's just a nice <laughs> thing. Um, so I wanted to thank everybody for joining us today and those of you that joined us yesterday and will join us the rest of the week with our big uh, grand finale on Saturday. Uh, I've been with the foundation now for 14, 15 months uh, in this role, and it's been quite a, quite a lot of changes that have been brought on. Um, with the help of the staff and with the circumstances that we're all going through. Uh, but we do feel like it's really enabled us. And I think the key thing is what Kristen just said. We are the Epilepsy Foundation of Wisconsin now. We cover everything from, um, you know, north from Hayward down to Kenosha, from Platteville over to Green Bay. We now cover the entire state. And using technology like we are with our virtual meetups, and next week when we start our virtual support groups again, um, we are going to use technology to not only try to keep doing the things that we were doing, but do more things and connect them with it. And it's the folks that you've already met with Kristen and you're going to meet when the rest of the staff comes on that really enable this to happen. Because those are the people that are the pros at doing these events. They're the people with the depth of knowledge around the Epilepsy Foundation and all the tools. So uh, I just get to be the one that talks first. The people that you're going to hear from next are really the ones that make it all happen and do all the hard work behind it. So. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. It's great to have you with us um, down there in Madison um, and all over, actually, because we kind of we're all over now. Um, and so next we're going to meet Alicia. Alicia Thompson is our program manager in Eau Claire. Um, so Alicia, if you'd like to say hello to everybody. Yeah, today. hello. I'm going to wave also. I don't know, Mike. I agree. I just feel like it's something you should do. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, as Kristen said, my name is Alicia Thompson and I'm the program manager. Um, Mike, like last night, he kind of summed up what I was going to say, but yeah, we're really, ex <laughs> we're just really excited, um, you know, with the changes that have been made, it's been all for the positive, all for the good. And we have, you know, some other programs in the works 
um, that we're really excited about. Krista mentioned the support groups and just trying to reach you know as many people as we can, especially during this time. And having the virtual option has been <laughs> phenomenal. We've gotten a lot of great feedback, and um, we appreciate everybody that tunes in every week to our virtual meetups. Um, yeah, so thanks for the support and for being here tonight. Thanks. <coughs> Um, thanks, Alicia. And look, there, there's John. John's ready. He is on the ball tonight. So many of you down in Madison may know John and recognize John. But John, for the people who are not familiar with, um, you know, with Madison support groups and stuff, if you want to say hello. I would like to say hello. Thanks for the opportunity. Terrific. For those on the Zoom call, I think I know everybody here. But for those of you on Facebook watching, my name is John. I am stationed here in Madison. I um, coordinate the client services and client support services. I work a lot with support groups. I work a lot with social media. And I've been on the staff officially since about early 2013. I started out as a volunteer in 07 um, and then came a staff member, volunteered for about seven years, came a staff member in 2013, have been around ever since. So I get involved, I have, wear several hats, but those are the primary areas that I'm involved in. So happy to be here today. We just got done taking some great pictures for our Madison support group doing the walk. Awesome, I can't wait to see them and I like your hat you have on today, that's awesome. Um, Thank you. Definitely sporting some, you know, fun today um, out on your walk, so awesome. And for that might not know, I'm Kristen Dossel, the Development Director for the Foundation. I live here in Stevens Point, so central of the state. Um, and my, I've been around with, for the foundation, with the Foundation for quite some time. So officially on staff for a couple of years, but I've been volunteering for probably around, around a decade, but been around even longer than that. Um, I was blessed to have a, a mom that worked for the Foundation for a very long time. So um, it's kind of you know a family tradition for us. So um, it's great to have everybody here. Um, and just a real quick shout out. So anybody that um, potentially might have not um, donated money, but still would like a shirt. Um, so that we are actually getting that opportunity to purchase shirts is um, happening. So look for that link later on um, in the Facebook feed. And then we will actually send it out um, via email for everybody as well. So those t-shirts are $25. Um, so if anybody's interested. Um, and we wanna thank a couple more of our sponsors at the moment. Um, so. Two other national sponsors we have are Esai and Norellis, um, and you'll actually be hearing from them potentially later this week um, and on Saturday, so we're excited to have them in addition to Greenwich. Um, and Alicia, John, and Mike have you know talked a lot about our programs and education, and, and Sarah as well, even Sherry. Um, so everybody's kind of talked about those programs and things that are important to the foundation. And um, education is a huge for us um, in providing those support services as well. Um, we have a 24-hour hotline with the national organization that we utilize. Um, so any, you know, help 24-7, is a, it's available, it's there. Um, so definitely utilize that. Um, we do a lot of outreach through our social media and through um, our digital platforms, um, as well as our virtual meetups and our programs we are now doing virtually, like Sarah had mentioned, those, um, those dinner, the um, update dinners that we're kind of doing, up, up, update virtual meetups, I guess you could call them. Um, <laughs> um, so look for those programs. We're looking to reach out um, more even, you know, as the, you know, the days and the months come um, to reach everybody from all those corners, like Mike had said. So, um, and talking about some fundraising today, we have, um, so like we had mentioned, so Sarah's team, uh, those Sarah Simples is number one. Uh, we have um, a team from Eau Claire that is actually number two right now. Um, and then a team from Mad or from Milwaukee, actually, that is number three. So. We're really excited. We've hit the $10,000 mark this year already for our walks, which we're super excited about. So yay, thank you guys. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for donating and supporting the foundation. Um, and, once now over and there is gonna be a Donate Now link um, posted as well in our Facebook feed. So anybody that like would like to do that, you still can. Um, and you'll be able to do it for a month after today. So really exciting to do that. Um, and with that, we're gonna do our next mission moment. And so we're actually gonna bring in Eric um, from Madison. Hi, Eric, how are you? I'm doing well, how's everybody else? I think we're doing, we're doing good. So Eric, if you would you know, share with us a little bit about your epilepsy journey, we would love to hear it. Uh, it is a brief one. <laughs> uh, <didn't laughs> it started eight years ago. Uh, Came home from a bike ride, woke up in a hospital. Turns out I was in a medically induced coma for four days. Uh, let's see, they had to replace a bone. Uh, 
Sit it. So it pinned them back together. Uh, then I tried to, uh, try to find, see if the RNAs would work, but they couldn't find where the seizures were coming from. So they implanted the VNS. And then uh, a couple of years later, with the DBS. At the time, it ended up being the first, or I think the first. Uh, approved first, first approved DBS implant for epilepsy. It was a major uh, boy Parkinson's. Hey, Eric, can I can I uh, interrupt to ask a question? Sure. Tell us, can you just tell a couple of sentences about what the DBS is? The DBS is an implant that will run into each lobe of the brain on the right and the left hemisphere. And uh, there, there, a lot of program you, that is able to set different pulses, different stretch bandwidths, kind of, no bandwidths, and strengths and frequencies as it fires uh, that you can try and find which setting will set their help you the best. As in slowing or you know, be only stopping seizures. So right now I have a very strong one. Um, let's see. And it was a quick procedure. It was something that I would recommend you. I was in and out two days. It was likely in a warm and less. I had it done in 2018, excuse me, 2018, I still have 75% of the value left. Uh, Gosh. I should also note that Eric, Eric is, a, is a great big part of our support group too here in Madison. He is, he's been a terrific uh, addition. Eric, Thanks. did you go on the walk today? Did you go I on did. in Madison today? Yes. And it was awesome. very warm. <laughs> very warm. It wouldn't have been so bad if there was actually some wind. But... <laughs> it just means we have to run faster. <laughs> oh, but the, the problem is the bikers kept yelling at us, so. Oh, no. Huh. Hey, Eric, I wanted to ask you one other question. Tell us what happened when you got the DBS implanted that day, that very day. So I found out as I came out of the procedure that, um, well, aside from the fact that instead of just shaving a hole in my head, they just take a strip right off the back. I looked good. I really did. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, Again, it was, uh, I was told that it was probably the first, um, as I was on the table, it was probably the first FDA approved for an epilepsy implant. It might have been tested, but this one was probably the first approved. They approved it on the day you got it implanted. <laughs> probably as I was on the table. Wow. Yeah, that is great. At That's five incredible. In the morning. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Eric, so much. And so you guys, you guys do some support groups down in Madison. Um, what are some of the fun things that you guys do for your support group? I've seen some awesome pictures from John and on the Facebook page. So what are some of those favorites that you guys do down there? Well, we, have, we do get together. Uh, you try to every Thursday uh, meeting, unfortunately, running into like everybody, a nice little problem with you. We try to get together, uh, game nights, uh, walks. We've done some Badger games too. We've gotten tickets to that. Um, we have gone to restaurants. We have come over where I live. There's a community clubhouse. We've done, um, we've done game nights. Uh, we've done cards and pizza. And we've gone to in the past. We went to a baseball game. Uh, two, two or three, three years, years in a row. row. So that's, that's always been fun, fun too. too. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to come down to Madison every Thursday. I think so. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. You yeah. Should. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, awesome. Thanks, Eric. Thank you for sharing. It's great to meet you. And thank you for coming on and sharing your story with us. Um, yes, and I would love to keep talking to you, but I did something where I don't see anybody anymore. <laughs> we are having some, I'm going to try. So we're at, we're having a- He's on here twice, actually. Kristen. Yeah, so yeah, we're having- yeah, I did that Let me try to mistake, unmute the other one. Give me just a second. The problem is on my screen, I don't see anything anymore. So we had this happen that. yesterday with John. So um, yes. these will be technical difficulties that we're having. So I apologize um, in trying to get all of this to work. So um, hang with us. We're going to try to figure it out. Um, give, give us just a little bit. Um, but while we talk, um, while we're trying to do that, in addition, we are, one of the things we want to talk about is that, that um, fundraising is so important for us. Um, and these walks really are for that, you know, part of that. Um, so raising awareness and raising funds. And so tonight, so from five o'clock tonight until five o'clock tomorrow night, um, Greenwich Biosciences is going to be donating um, or matching a, any donation up to a thousand dollars. So we are really excited to have them do that. So if anybody donate, you know, if you don't donate tonight, Greenwich is going to match it. So um, get online, um, do all those things you can. Um, if you support the fund, you know, make a donation tonight, that would be great. Um, and Greenwich will be me matching that. Um, and with fundraising that we want to talk about all of those incentive prizes and things that you potentially could win. So any team that raises a thousand dollars this year actually gets a purple canopy tent that pops up and it says end epilepsy on it. So we're excited about that. Um, so Sarah, if you're you know, listening, you get to get, you get one of those. <laughs> um, so congratulations. Um, and then any team that raises $500, um, we'll get a purple captain's chair that says end epilepsy on the top. So that national logo that you've seen that says end epilepsy, that is what it will say. Um, the t-shirts this year, if anybody was curious, wants to know, um, cause they haven't been mailed out yet. Um, actually is going to be um, the national logo of the end, the Walk to End Epilepsy. So we're excited to, um, to share that with you. And then on the back is the state of Wisconsin with our sponsors on it. So other sponsors that we have tonight, in addition to those national sponsors, would be um, SK Life Sciences, UCB, um, Quick Trip, and um, I think if there's any other, those are the th four, correct? Um, unless I said three. Um, <laughs> um, UCB. Yeah, I, I, UCB, somebody say shake their head, yes or no, yes. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, I know all of us, um, are potentially going for walks after this. Um, some of us did it yesterday and some of us are gonna do it again today. Um, and to share those pictures um, with, with everybody on our Facebook page. Um, so remember that you guys can walk tonight, you can walk tomorrow, you can walk anytime all week. Um, and you can join us for all of the events that are happening this week in addition to the, um, you know, in, in addition to tonight. Um, and then we have our statewide celebration on Saturday morning, um, which we're going to be announcing the winners up or the winners, the um, top fundraisers um, up until now. Um, and then um, having some more fun and meeting a little, a few more of our sponsors. Um, and we look forward to hearing from everybody and sharing those pictures and showing us how you're walking to end epilepsy and raising awareness for the foundation. So um, with that, I don't have a whole lot extra. Um, so I don't wanna keep everybody too long tonight, but they can get out and walk. It's gorgeous here up in central Wisconsin. So I'm assuming it is down there too, except for Madison might be a little, we need some wind. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so very much for joining us on our um, Madison and Janesville Walk 10 Epilepsy um, broadcast tonight uh, so we will post it online for everybody to see um, and we look forward to tomorrow uh, we will be in Wausau and Stevens Point tomorrow night so we are excited and we look forward to seeing everybody then so thank you guys thank you, thank you. <laughs> bye <laughs> yay thanks Madison <laughs> no.